All right, here we are on property on Washburn, Grand River neighborhood of Detroit. It's a pretty decent block, a solid class C, uh, possibly even C+. Plus. This ain't turnkey. We're going to be able to provide you with the turnkey experience here. Buying the property is going to be easy. Having the renovation done for you will be easy. But we have to understand how we get from where we are today to where you want to be, that turnkey property bringing in $1,800 a month. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. This ain't your daddy's Detroit, y'all. It's 2024 now. Things have changed. Things are different. Detroit is now known as one of those up-and-coming markets, right? Detroit's coming back. The statistics, the pricing, all of that supports it, right? I ain't chat GDP, so I'm not going to sit here and rattle that shit off for y'all. If you don't believe what I'm saying, go ahead and fucking Google that shit, okay? What I'm here to do is present to you guys opportunities, present to you guys the opportunity to jump in on the Detroit bandwagon before it gets totally saturated and you're overpaying, right? We're here to buy undervalued real estate and make a whole fuck ton of money, and we're going to be able to do that with this property. 16644 Washburn, baby. This is a duplex coming to you guys at $60,000, right? And my friends over at Logical Property Management, they were so kind as to provide us all with a complete full video tour done by the owner, and he goes through this property with a fine tooth comb. So make sure you stick through to the end of the video because when I'm done talking to y'all, I'm going to go ahead and play his complete tour in its entirety, completely unedited, and he is literally going through this property room by room by room, breaking down exactly what needs to be rehabbed, why they need to rehab it, what can be salvaged, what has to happen to get you guys to where you need to go, right? It's available now at $60,000. We're looking at an ARV of about $90,000. We are looking at a rent roll of about $1,800. Bucks. But the folks over at Logical, who, by the way, are the people that I partner with anytime I'm doing business in Detroit, these guys are my boots-on-the-ground expert out there, right? They're going to go through, literally, the most minute details from like, oh, do we got to take this window, replace it, put glass block, we got to do this, we got to do that, right? They're going to break all of that down for you guys because this ain't turnkey. We're going to be able to provide you with the turnkey experience here. Buying the property is going to be easy. Having the renovation done for you will be easy, but... We have to understand how we get from where we are today to where you want to be, that turnkey property bringing in $1,800 a month, right? So stick through to the end of the video uh, for that complete total breakdown. And something that's obviously going to be very important is probably going to you know, pique the interest of like West Coasters, right? We even have some asbestos in this property that we got to take care of. But don't freak out, guys. This is Detroit. This is not Los Angeles. When you're in Detroit, it's fixable for a reasonable cost. I know in Los Angeles, if you guys see asbestos, I think you guys have to, like, nuke the building and then, like, you know, evacuate the area. But y'all crazy motherfuckers out there. We ain't like that out here in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? It's totally fixable. It's actually not that big a deal so long as you take care of it the proper way. And that's exactly what my folks over at Logical PM are going to do, right? So after the video, after you watch it, after you get an idea of how we go from where we are currently at to where you want to be, if you want to buy this particular property, just hit Logical logical up i'm sure multiple points through this video probably right now why i'm standing here talking to you guys tyler's probably got all of their contact info up that's who you're going to reach out uh, to go ahead and present your offers if you have any more questions if you want any more details clarified or broken down for you hit them up and of course they will be there to handle all of your property management renovation needs after closing let's hop on this detroit train right now All right, here we are on property on Washburn, Grand River neighborhood of Detroit. It's a pretty decent block, a solid class C, uh, possibly even C+. Uh, if you look here, it's all brick homes, which 
the city prefers. New porch there, some work being done. Most of these lawns are kept up. Somebody recently cut a tree down right there. Yeah, well, there's one on the kept lawn, but the rest of them all look pretty good. Not seeing a lot of abandoned houses or a lot of uh, properties that need a lot of work. So that's all good. And the next block over, yeah, we got that corner house needs a, a lawn cut. So does this one a little bit, but they're in pretty good condition. So we're gonna go take a look at this house. It's a two plex, two bedrooms, one unit, upper and lower flats. Uh, if we look here at the outside, could use some glass block windows here. Uh, these are, some of these are newer windows. I can tell right there. Some of them are old aluminum and they tried to put in. <laughs> I'd get rid of that. That might be the bathroom and we want to glass block that correctly. So some bars on the windows, the backyard needs major cleanup. So we got some broken windows there, back bump outs, stuff like that. Let's go take a look what we got here. Yeah, so first unit, got peel and stick tile everywhere, kind of crappy, probably get rid of that. Let's go this way. This is the entryway, hardwood floors, just need to be refinished a little bit. Yeah, there's some wear and tear there. Might actually have, uh, oh, it's got some uh, old laminate on top of it. Rip it out and just leave the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, the actual hardwood there. This has got boiler heat. We're missing uh, right here. There should be an actual um, radiator. May have to grab that or maybe worth it just to get rid of the, the boiler and put in forced air. A funky old round top door, hard to match. Um, carpeting and there's hardwood underneath it given the age of this house. Um, you know, some major patching that's gone over the years there. You could probably just redo it a little bit. Tenants not too, uh, don't care too much about that stuff. A faux uh, or, um, fireplace. This is here to protect, well, we get a broken window here that have to be fixed, a couple of them. But these were newer frames, so I might be able to just redo the glass. Coming in, this is, so this is a living room. Uh, look at this decorative sconch. It's had how many layers of paint on it though. Um, there's another radiator that's missing. So depending on the cost to get that replaced, it might be cheaper just to go to central air system. I'm sorry, a, a forced air system. This is the dining room. Got a ceiling fan there. Make sure all the electrical's up to date. Uh, we'll come over here, we'll go in the bedrooms. So we've got some buckled floors here due to some water damage. I'm gonna guess maybe the upstairs, bathtub, bathroom, float over here. But this is gonna be fixed. Missing another radiator, uh, broken window there, peeling paint. This isn't leaks. This is just what happens when you leave something um, unheated over the winter time. Looks like there's a back patio back there. We can't get to that because that's boarded up, but uh, that may need some work. Uh, door's okay here. This door is busted, so not a big deal. There's what the radiators look like. So we're missing several of those. Not sure if we can go to like a... Uh, scrap place and find them that needs to be paint uh, fixed that window's been leaking that's what caused that there's a newer window that door has got to be replaced obviously this one's got to be replaced for the linen and you got some you know other water damage here that's got to be fixed this is the bathroom it's got a newer ceramic floor but busted up a little bit hopefully we can match it same thing on the walls so somebody did a decent job here at one point. Again, this is that funky window, I believe. Yeah, we wanna replace that with glass block. Be done with it. Uh, maybe put a vent in it. Clean this up, reglaze the tub. Uh, same tile goes into the kitchen. Looks like it's pretty good shape. It's gotta be cleaned, obviously. Uh, there's a dishwasher, get rid of that because you don't want a dishwasher in one of these units. Missing the upper cabinets. I don't know if they're installed or looks like they were broken off. The backs are still there. So fix all that up a little bit. Should be able to save most of this, I would hope. Uh, fridge. Don't even want to open that. Don't know how long it's been there. That light, you want to make a low profile LED. Uh, let's go look at the upper unit. Now, this is a great opportunity given the neighborhood. Depending on the price you can get it for, which we'll help with. By the way, 
Then a chandelier, replace that with an LED. Pretty much the same layout. As you can see the hardwood floors here don't have carpeting on them. The windows, they took care of the, they got rid of the picture window and put three separate windows, which is a smart idea because it's cheaper to replace one of these than it is a big window. Here's a coat closet, extra door. Again, the full fireplace. These are older windows, maybe leave them for aesthetics, but they gotta be fixed. Uh, again, dining room, had some major patching there. It looks crappy. So definitely want to take a look at this uh, roof. You know, again, look at the bedrooms, hardwood, missing radiator. Oh, here's what we got. Oh, I got a little bit of mold. Not that big of a deal. It scares people off. So this is an unheated area. It was an addition. Some of this needs to be fixed. OSB, that's rotted away. You have to fix that a little bit. And this is obviously leaking. So that's, you know, some work in there. Nothing too scary. I'm gonna get some broken tiles here. Hopefully we can match these. Missing another radiator. Some of the stole radiators. Bathroom, that's falling apart, but we can replace that easily. It's got the tile still, looks in good shape. Glass block, maybe use that window someplace else in here. Fix this all up, LED light there. Here's the kitchen, a couple spider cracks, maybe get away with those, they'll be okay. Yeah, we don't have a dishwasher here, yay. But probably gotta gut this, this isn't gonna work with that. So, uh, recycle the sink, but rip all that out. Get a more modern kitchen here. There's a fridge, the stove's gonna go over there. This is maybe a pantry, or was it an ironing board? Eh, it looks like an ironing board that used to be in there that would come down. Or it could be a table. Put a table down there and put bunches here. You can eat in, uh, get creative. And yeah. light there's okay. So yeah, not in bad shape. You know, depending on the roof, um, you know, all this is cosmetic for the most part. You know, five to seven grand a unit, um, depending on how bad the floor is. If we go down the basement, probably gonna find the boiler. They don't usually steal those. They're not a big market for them. So, uh, this basement's got a little bit of wetness there. We'll have to check the grade on the outside, fix that. That's where the uh, uh, gas line used to be, and they moved them outside. Got a furnace here, which is kind of odd. So, a forced air furnace. Or is this another boiler? Hold on. Eh, it looks like a boiler actually. Those are water lines. And then here's another boiler. So we got two boilers, one for upper, one for lower. Um, updated electrical panels over there, it looks like. Somebody updated some of the plumbing. So got some old appliances. Uh, asbestos on these pipes, that needs to be addressed because that's not good. Get that out of here. That might be a little you know, four, three, four grand to get somebody in here that can do stuff like that. Turn this into a storage unit for one of the units. Put a door on it. And again, glass block these. So overall, this could be a good property. It's got solid bones, just needs some uh, TLC. So again, let us know if you're interested. Um, this property will probably go pretty quick. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.